I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012. I'm Casey. And I'm Clea. It's a short day. Are you a TA? Go see Ms. Zimmer. The bulletin is on. Activity Wednesday, October 3rd. Boys Tennis is going against Kingston at home starting at 4 p.m. Cross Country is running against North Kitsap in Port Angeles at 4 p.m. Thursday, October 4th, girls bowling preseason meeting at 2.08 in the Commons. Boys basketball preseason meeting in the Commons. Fitness center is open starting at 2.15 p.m. till 4 p.m. The weight room is open starting at 2.30 p.m. Girls soccer is taking on Kingston away, JV at 5, varsity at 6.45 p.m. Girls volleyball is away at Kingston, JV at 5, varsity at 6.15 p.m. And drama club meeting is meeting after school in room 104. And Friday, October 5th, Fitness Center is opening starting at 2.15 to 4, p to 4 p.m. Weight room is open at 2.30 p.m. And football takes on Port Angeles starting at 7 p.m. at home. Staff and students track meeting Tuesday, October 9th, after school in the Commons. Attention SAD club members, big meeting today at 2.15 in the Career Center. We will be planning for the Kidsap Youth Conference and discussing this year's awareness events for our school. Bring your ideas and enthusiasm and enjoy a treat at the meeting. For those of you signed up to take the SAT test this Saturday, remember to arrive at Olympic College by 7.45 a.m. with your picture ID, a calculator, and pencils for those who need to sign up for a November SAT. The dead this deadline is this Thursday. Sign up at the collegeboard.com or come to the counseling office for more information. With Friday being an extra early release day, the kitchen will not be serving lunch that day. We'll be offering grab-and-go items from the snack bar, such as burritos, corn dogs, PB&J, Hot Pockets, dry foods such as chips and cold drinks. These are a la carte items, so it's cash or cash in your account basis. Remember the rules though, there is no food on the buses, so if you do purchase anything, put it away till you arrive home. Enjoy your early day off. If you're a TA, please return your green evaluation forms to Mrs. Zimmer, room 230, as soon as you can. Girls interested in bowling will meet Thursday, right after school in the Commons area. Hey, all of you FCCLA members or anyone interested in becoming a member. We will meet today after school in Ms. Keithley's room, room 108. Items on the agenda are hosting fall regional meetings and getting Cinderella's Closet up and running for the homecoming dance. We will see you there. We are now accepting donations of formal wear for Cinderella's Closet. If you have a dress, jacket, pants, tie, or shoes that you don't need, we know you just want to go out and buy new ones. Please drop them off with Miss Keithley, room 108, or Miss Hewitt, room 111, by Friday, October 12th. FCCLA thanks you for your help. The Washington Area of Space Scholars is an educational program for high school juniors from across Washington State. The WAS program emphasizes science, technology, engineering, and math, and encourages students to consider careers in these fields. Students participate in a distance learning with bi-weekly lessons December to May. 160 students who have met the deadlines for submission of their work will be given the opportunity for a six-day summer residency at the Museum of Flight, where students are guided by professional engineers and educators as they design a human mission to Mars. Tour engineering facilities receive briefings from experts in the field and compete in hands-on engineering challenges. Applications are available in the Career Center and are due by November 9th. The In Memory of organization is new to us and is offering a $2,000 scholarship for students who have a minimum GPA of 2.5 and above and planning to pursue a bachelor's degree beginning in the fall of 2013. Application is only available in the Career Center bin. Due date is April 15th. New scholarships are in. The Daughters of American Revolution organization is offering a variety of scholarships to both male and female seniors. They are offering a generous $5,000 general scholarship as well as scholarships for students pursuing higher education in political science, history, government, economics, nursing, medical, law, piano, voice, and more. The Walking is Overrated organization is offering a $500 scholarship for students grades 9 to 12. Students write an article, essay, or poem that brings better understanding to their disabilities. Are you interested in science, engineering, and math and planning on attending OC? 
Olympic College is hosting a Science, Engineering, and Mathematics Information Night on Monday, October 15th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. You'll learn more about their transfer degree programs, the MESA program, and get to the four, four, tour of the science and technology facilities. Professor, professors and advisors will be on hand to answer questions. And birthdays, Armando Armenta. Uh, Rowena Injecchi. Injecchi. Uh, <laughs> Terry McFarlane. And your daily thought, don't worry, it doesn't become you. And your daily joke. Why did the blonde stare at the orange juice container for an hour? I don't know why. Because it said concentrate. <laughs> Ah, good one. Uh, this oh, day wow. in history. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln declared the last Thursday in November Thanksgiving Day. In 1955, Captain Kangaroo premiered on CBS and the Mickey Mouse Club premiered on ABC. That was, that was your bulletin. bulletin.